Welcome back and good morning. We are up in our messy, messy pole barn today uh, because we have something kind of exciting that is gonna be happening that will help us move forward on this project that has been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah, the pole barn's been, been years in the making. We've just been doing it as we've had time, as we've had money. And uh, usually that's with a, a, if we get tax return, uh, we'll put some money towards uh, building another section on the pole barn. So uh, today is a big day towards the completion of this pole barn. So a few weeks ago, Robert did a little checking around, some pricing, some calling around, and he ordered us up the material for the roof of the pole barn. So if you've been with the channel for a while, you know that we put a roof on the pole barn, uh, we put plywood down and ice and water shield kind of more like a traditional type of roof. So good but we have not yet uh, put any sheet metal on it um, just we haven't had the money to go and, and, and spend to, to buy a bunch of tin roofing for it since we started this project the price of materials has gone up substantially so uh, we've gotten as much done on this project as we can and now that we have collected the funds that we need to finish off the roof project Robert got our roofing metal ordered up and that order is in today. So that's really exciting. We can go and pick that up. So that's what we're gonna be go doing today is we are headed to um, the building products place that we ordered it from and we're gonna pick up our metal roofing. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yay, we get to pick up our roofing, Lily. Are you excited? Are you excited? Jasper, we get to pick up our metal roofing today. Are you excited? Are you excited? Down. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm excited. Where are you going, Ollie? Oh, oh. <laughs> you picked a hard part to go up, buddy. It has been raining cats and dogs for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we didn't get much uh, precipitation throughout the winter, but all of a sudden this uh, spring, we've got quite a bit the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's evidenced by standing water everywhere. I'm gonna try not to get stuck, get the truck up and get hooked up to our trailer and we'll get that uh, into town and pick up our sheet metal for the roofing. It's like our own little water feature. Just comes up out of nowhere. Did you make that special little water feature? <laughs> it's pretty legit. That's like four inches by two inches coming up out of the ground. That's a that's a pretty big uh, seep. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why we struggle with this situation in this area. So we have it so it goes down and it hits the drainage ditch. So we've been working on putting in French drains all over the place because of situations like this. You can put in drainage ditches all over, but when you have seeps that just literally just bubble up out of the ground anywhere they want to. We've been on the property long enough now. We kind of know where these seeps tend to pop up. So we, uh, we try and put, put uh, drainage downhill from them and uh, 
do our best, but when we get the spring rains and the snow starts melting up on the hills, um, it literally just starts gushing out of the ground all over the place around here. We made a pool. <laughs> yeah. So when I said the last big project we had for the pole barn was the roof, um, actually there's two, two big projects. The roof is one, finishing the well. French drain around the back of the pole barn is the other big project. So we got a little bit of excavation to do because uh, water just kind of seeps out of the hillside here. And uh, we got to get that water over, out and away from uh, the base of the pole barn. I don't think I showed you guys on a previous video, but I did get a little bit further on uh, the retaining wall around the backside of the pole barn. <gasps> Oliver, don't you get up there? Don't you dare. No, sir. We have to keep an eye on that one. Whenever I leave my door open on car or truck, Oliver always decides to go and investigate and have with cat prints all over the inside of the car. And it's not just Oliver. Um, I think it was, well, maybe it was Oliver or maybe it was Jasper, but um, one of them got locked in my trunk one time. Thankfully, we <laughs> discovered that really- That was Jasper. <laughs> yeah, thankfully we discovered really quickly that he was missing. He was only in there like a couple minutes and it was in the winter time. So it wasn't like he died of heat, was dying of heat stroke or anything, but- I think we were bringing in groceries and he, uh, he'd snuck in there. Yeah, so he had gotten inside of one of the grocery bags. So we didn't know he was in there. So one of our reusable uh, uh, paper bags, he had gotten inside of there and we didn't realize he was in the trunk. So we closed him in there. And then I thought it was odd because the cats are always inside the house when I'm putting away groceries because they want to see everything that's going on and what we brought. And he wasn't there. So I had a feeling he kind of got possibly locked in the trunk, which he did. Speaking of, speaking of which. Hey, troublemaker. Climb that ladder to get up there? Oh, you got a friend on your shoulder too. Oh boy. You guys are everywhere today. So the cats have become fair weather cats and <laughs> they don't want to go outside when it's raining and snowing, obviously. So everybody's been staying a lot inside the house, but they get very excited when we go out because it must be project time and they want to be helpful in any way that they possibly can with our projects like Ollie right here who was overseeing the hooking up of the trailer and then Jasper right over here who was making sure that Robert gets everything hooked up safely. Job supervisors, they're more like micromanagers. So this truck has a really cool feature when you're hauling trailers and it does an automatic light test. You can test all the functionality of your lights uh, before you take off and you don't have to have two people. Dee Dee's with me today but uh, sometimes you're just hooking up a trailer by yourself and it's nice to hit the Test button, walk back, make sure everything's working. Hey, brother. My lights is not working.
probably don't want a bunch of these screws rattling off. All right, good news on the light. The ground wire for the left-hand turn signal had come loose, so easy fix. We'll just go put a ring thermal on it and hook it back up. I just tested it and it works fine, so just gotta go secure that and we're ready to go. This is a good day, yes, to start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone on the night And I can feel the Like you've done that a time or two <laughs> all right we are all packaged up ready to go um i will say one thing buying from a, an actual building supply place uh pretty nice they package everything up really nicely and load you up um so it was fairly similar to the, actually the price of lowe's i didn't get much of a discount because i'm not a contractor but uh much easier to deal with than going and trying to hand load all the stuff at lowe's and and it was um uh, it was it was a very good experience I bought this from Beacon Building Supplies in Medford. I think they used to be Allied Building Products. Uh, I'm not sure they changed their name a little while ago. Anyhow, worked out great. I'm loaded up in just a couple minutes, strapped down, ready to go. So let's get this stuff home. Right, we successfully got the tin home. I'm gonna go throw a tarp on that and uh, try and keep it somewhat dry. Feels really good. Yeah. Feels really good to have that here and kind of moving on to the next phase. It's kind of been looming in the back burner of my mind for quite some time and uh, feels good to finally get the stuff to start working on that. Yeah, I'm excited. It's one of those big projects that we'd really like to wrap up. So it's exciting to have the material here so that as soon as we start getting good weather, we can get to cracking on putting the metal roof on the pole yeah. barn. So that's very exciting. Well, you have to stay tuned. I'm sure you'll see that in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you being here. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.